Good morning, friends. I got up at about 6 in the morning so I could start uh, this meal for tonight when my mom's here. I got onions and corn and taters and carrots and the brisket is on the bottom. I think I added too many potatoes because yeah, I just ran out of room. I might add these after it's been going for a while anyways and I've got some gravy here I'm gonna pour in that's been boiling so I don't want to bring that all the way up to the top because it's probably gonna boil but I'm gonna cook this for about 12 hours using the blue eddy here let me turn this on. High. Put the cover on. And all I gotta do is let it sit for the rest of the day. It is using 177 watts. And the Blue Eddy will run this for 25.5 hours. Alright. See you in a bit. Alrighty, friends. It's almost 2 p.m. now. That is seven hours later, and I've got this stew cooking. It's gonna be pretty good. Still thinking about getting an Instapot, but somebody commented that Instapots don't do very well with slow cooking. I got this in case it boils over. I put it in the pan here <clears throat> so it'd catch it. And then for heat, I put it on top of this cutting board. This thing is doing great. I'm actually charging it right now while it's running the Instapot. But I've got something else going on. I ran out of water. A lot of you kept asking if my RV even runs and if I ever start it up. Well, I've got it started up right now. I start it up probably once every three weeks because I have to use the battery in order to run my pump I don't have to but it's just a convenient way <clears throat> in order to run my water pump because I don't have gravity fed uh, inlet for for my water so I've got the pump here I've got an extension that I made for the pump the hose is going from my water cistern here it's going into the pump it's going through this RV filter, which is plenty for me. A lot of you use Berkeys and stuff like that, but I don't have a Berkey. And then it's just going into the RV here, which is cool, cool beans. And I drank the water straight out of my faucet. I haven't bleached or cleaned out my internal water tank in many, many years, and I still drink out of it. It's fine. Now here, In my electrical area, I unplugged this because I don't need it anymore. It's not falling below freezing anymore at night, but in the winter time, I pull. I'll show you. When that thing uh, detects that it gets below 40 degrees, then this little heater, it'll turn this little heater on. Tiny little heater uses like 100 watts, but it keeps this compartment in here warm and then when I have really cloudy days for many for many many days and these batteries are just getting drained I use this lithium charger right here to end uh, the generator in order to bring everything back up so the stew is gonna be ready when my ma gets here it's gonna be later she left later than she thought she was going to and it is the next day and I've still got this charging it's charging at 79 watts right at the moment but the clouds keep covering up the Sun dead 90% which is nice so she'll have plenty of power which is very very cool beans I've only got a uh, 30 gallon fresh water tank I know a lot of those class A's out there have like 100 gallons and so on. 
My repair has been holding up. There's an update on that. <laughs> I've been checking in here for leaks since I left it in freezing weather for so long. And I'm all good. My water tank is halfway full right now. That is my diesel heater right here, by the way, in case you're curious. I've got that tin foil in it. I don't need the tin foil, uh, but I just put it in there anyways. It because this diesel heater gets really hot after quite a while, so I put the tin foil in between the tank and the heater. <clears throat> Never needed it, but I put it in there as a precaution. Anyways, I gotta admit it's been uh, kind of a struggle to be uploading every day but I want to I want to do that because I told everybody I would and I'm gonna trying to get the give the channel a jump start I'm gonna keep uploading every day even if it's not the most exciting <laughs> and look I'm I'm living out in the middle of nowhere it's there's not a whole lot of excitement going on <gasps> Let's check again. No, not a lot of excitement. I need water because I gotta wash that. And this pan from the gravy. I wanna tell you what I got in here though. Maybe show you. I got that brisket in here. It's cut into a bunch of pieces. And I've got carrots and onions. I wish I had garlic, but I don't have garlic. You know, and uh, it would be it would have been nice to have mushrooms as well. I've got corn in here, and that's it. <clears throat> It'll still be really good. I noticed at the six-hour mark when I cook meat in this thing uh, that the meat is not very tender; it gets really rubbery. But then, right around the eight-hour mark. Um, it gets really tender after that so there it is I'm just gonna wait for my RV to fill up and I've got some other chores to do and uh, yeah that's really about it I've got some exciting news to share but I'm not ready to share it quite yet. Quite yet. But um, it's getting close. So stay tuned. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And please hit that thumbs up button. And I will see you in the next video. Woo! Makes me sick. <laughs>